Hi, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to um, Spark Rattles Facebook Live, uh, our weekly broadcast. As you see, I'm by myself today, which is very rare. Um, unfortunately, Brian had some surgery, minor. He's doing fine, um, but he's resting up. So you got me. Um, last week, you didn't have me because we had some technical difficulties, which happens so often in the internet world, especially now with it being so, you know, everybody's using it now, students and everybody. But anyway, last week we talked, Brian talked about how would Biden changes affect real estate investors. Um, and it was pretty well received. We got a lot of comments, emails, um, interaction on the show. So it was awesome. And I encourage everybody to let me know as you join in where you're joining in from and feel free to post comments and whatnot in the in the chat um and so we can have a you know back and forth conversation instead of me just talking into the air um today we're going to go over something that keeps coming up in the real estate groups and i get this question a lot and i think it's finally good that we address it and that is do you really need a real estate license to invest is there benefits to it um and we're going to go over the good the bad and the ugly of all of that so let's start with the good somewhat <laughs> one of the goods is access to the mls system now that used to be a really really big positive thing positive aspect however there's a lot of um happenings right now that are a lot of talk and that it's going to eventually go public so that means everybody will have access to it now there are a lot of tools right now like realtor.com and um Trulia and a bazillion others that provide a lot of the information that you get from the MLS, but um, they tend to be a little bit behind, so you don't get up to date information in real time. However, uh, the MLS again, we're going to talk about that later. It is it's kind of expensive, and there's some other things that that go along with that. And if it's made um, public, which I really think is going to happen in the future that's not really gonna be a benefit um, to anyone or a real estate investor. One of the good things uh, about being a realtor, and again, I'm a realtor, I don't know if you guys knew that, but I do practice mostly friends and family, but I do keep it, keep it going just to keep me, you know, in the know. But networking is definitely a positive um, when you have your real estate license. There are meetings and board meetings and, uh, your office meetings and whatnot. So it forces you to really get to talking and knowing people in the business. And that's anybody from loan officers to uh, title, individual title searchers and, and all kinds of people in the business. And it, it's a good way to, you know, learn from other people and network. Um, the other thing is I have found amazing contractors from other realtors, um, they have the know when it comes to that, and and that's a big thing when you're an investor, having good, good, concrete, <laughs> responsible, and individuals for contracting. And the other is, you make money as a realtor. So if you if you want to do that, that's your passion, and you want to sell houses, it's another way to make money. So if you're looking for something to do on the side of your real estate investing and you really love real estate and you love helping people then it is a good way to make some decent money so with that being said there are also some bats <laughs> there is a ton of investment of time energy and money um there there's dues from all different board dues you have local board dues and national board dues and state board dues and dues 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 and <laughs> there's insurances and, and all kinds of things and that's not to mention there is time because you have to keep education up so you have the time to take the education to get your license but then you also have the time to keep educational requirements fulfilled throughout your entire entire time so those are some of the not so good the bads now the ugly part of being a realtor just for now i'm saying being a realtor is a bad thing but for using it just for investment purposes the other thing would be what i was talking to about before which is 
that having access to the MLS at one time was gold. I mean, you had all of the public record information and there was so much information. But like I had said before, a lot of that stuff is going to be made public eventually anyway. And there are some other things that you can use. So spending the money annually on the subscription rate for realtors for your local MLS is expensive. And if that's the only reason that you're becoming a, a licensed person to have access to that um, for investment purposes, it's it's not worth it. Um, I know I talk about prop stream a lot. I actually use it even being in real estate because you get even more information in some cases on that. And I think that you're better off if, if you just want access to the MLS to join something like a prop, prop stream and there's some other programs as well. I'm going to throw the prop stream link in the chat and you guys can check that out. It's um, they, they offer like a free trial so you can just kind of play around with it. It's kind of fun. Um, well, I would think it's fun because <laughs> this is what I do and to me it's fun. But um, and then there is a, a monthly fee after that. But it, at least try it out for free because it's definitely worth checking it out. The other um, ugly part of being involved in real estate is like I had talked about this a bit before, but there are ongoing costs, um, the MLS that I had said, but you also have various different insurances. There's liability, there's hours and emissions insurance. You have all kinds of dues, local, state, and national board dues, and then you have the cost of education. And then there's the time of putting in the education. Now, if you are just looking at this for strictly investment purposes, and you were to take it these costs in, you want to make sure they're not going to outweigh your return on your investments because, you know, that's the name of the game. So you do want to make sure, and to be honest with you, I don't think um, if you're using it solely for real estate investment that it, it's not worth it and it is going to eat into your ROI. The other um, thing is that <laughs> real estate, so often, I think people believe that it's fun. You know, you go, you see some houses, you show it, you're done, it's sold, and you make your money and you walk. And it's not, it's a lot of work. And last night <laughs> in the middle of dinner, I got a call because one of my listings, somebody took the key and I had to deal with that. I had to go back, I had to track where this key was. So it's not as easy as you think it is. And people pull out last minute of the deals and deals break at the table. And then you're sitting there for hours trying to figure this all out. And, you know, it's a lot. So if you're going to get your real estate license to sell, you got to love people. You got to love the business. You got to have a passion for it like anything else. And if you're just using it for investment purposes, it's kind of expensive. So overall, my personal opinion is don't do it if you're just going to use it as, you know, for your real estate investing. But if you're going to go ahead out there and, and practice and sell and whatnot and enjoy it, then go for it is, is what I would suggest. So, and with that, I'm going to wrap it up. Brian and I will be back next week together. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, anytime and ask the questions. We'll definitely um, answer them. We're pretty good about that. And you guys have a great day and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.